All right, so we're back at Eric's place here. You guys might recognize this shower from uh, the, the DIY shower. It was a Vivor shower system that Eric here did, and I, crit I critiqued him pretty hard on that video. <sighs> so yikes, it's a little worse than I thought. I was a little rough on him, so we wanted to help him out. So you can see what we have here. Eric has put the self-leveler down and it cured up really nice. Eric, you did a great job on the self-leveler. That was great. I directed him to my videos and, uh, but yeah, it still takes work and some talent to get it right. And so we put in this, uh, the adapter to the flow effects. We just adapted it straight to his old three-piece drain. If you wanna see a video on how we do that, I'll put a link in the description below, but now the flow effects is gonna connect directly to the bottom flange of that old three-piece drain that we had in here. So we got this floor clean, ready to go. Eric mixed up the thin set. You got a little lesson on mixing up thin set. So we're ready to go, Eric. Uh, oh yeah, the half inch. Let's go with the half inch by half inch notch that we got over there. So have you ever done thin set before? I haven't. No thin set, okay. So. Have you seen me do it in videos? I did. <laughs> right, right on. But yeah, just start spreading the thin set and work from that corner and work your way out here. And uh, we'll see how you do. I'll jump in and help you if we need to. up some Schluter all set that's what we're using here so don't worry about getting your ridges perfect right now just try to get get thin set down and just start trialing it and you're gonna have to do another pass to to do like the direction. So you're doing good, man. That's perfect. All right, so Eric's doing a great job here, man. He's he's watched my videos on troweling and and really applying the information correctly. He's doing a great job. Uh, I do make it look a lot easier in the videos, so don't get discouraged if you try it. I mean, it's just like you know, practice makes perfect. So I wanted to get him some get him on the troweling because he's going to be tiling the rest of the shower, so he's definitely going to need. Uh, some practice with troweling thin set because before what he used was mastic. He used mastic in this entire shower, so you don't have to mix it. And this mastic and thin set just act a lot differently. So it's good that he's getting this practice with thin set, and he's doing a great job. So he's almost done with the thin set. As a reminder, mastic's not waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Eric remind, is reminding you that mastic is not for wet areas. But, you don't want to use mastic in a wet area. This, and porcelain tiles don't do well with mastic anyways because it just it just doesn't dry. It takes so long to cure. That's why we're using thin set here. He's doing a great job. So now he's he's almost done here uh, coming out this thin set. We'll get this revolutionary shower systems foam pan and we're gonna pop it right in here. Oh yeah man, that looks great. Solid. Yeah, check this foam pan out. It's got the curb already attached. This is so cool. So 
So it just thin sets right down. You don't have to attach a separate curb. That's what it looks like. Again, this is recycled plastic. This isn't technically foam. It's really, really dense. Great stuff. Perfect, yep. So what I do, Eric, is I usually stand on those bad boys. Don't stand right around the drain because again, that mud is still a little bit wet, but walk around the perimeter and just kind of try to shake it back and forth. And you'll probably hear the little air kind of coming out of it as you go. That'll really lock that pan. What that does is it, it collapses those ridges in the half inch notch trowel. You can hear the air coming out of it and the little little sounds that it makes. Perfect. Yeah, we call that the, the foam pan shimmy right there. <laughs> and then we'll have to stand on the curb too and try to squish out anything, any of that thin set under the curb. Yeah, maybe stand on it. Yeah, you see the thin set. Maybe go back and forth with it a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. See, it's oozing that thin set out. That's what we want. Yeah, with this, we'll get 100% coverage under this, baby. This. So, but good job. Foam pan is down. Right on, Eric. Nice, making progress. It's just packing in that recessed area for the, the flow effects flange to sit down in. So be generous with it. You can even leave it a little bit higher than the, the pan itself. It looks like you're about there. Okay. Actually put a little bit more in there. Make, make it up just a little bit higher if you can. Yeah, just like that, perfect. We really want that flow fix to squish, squish down in there and fill in those mortar lock cavities. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's all gonna, it's all gonna you know, squish down in that hole. Um, now that we'll get the we'll get the uh, PVC glue and attach that flow effect. This is I, didn't, I didn't hit film. <laughs> what did it? No. <laughs> right. <that> again. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to hit the record button showing Eric putting that flow effects flange in, but I got tons of videos on it. I'll put links in the descriptions. See, so looking pretty good. Each spot. Fifteen and a quarter to each corner. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're square. Yeah. So now when we do the membrane, we're going to be using this this V-notch trowel. So see that little flap right there, Eric? Yeah. Go ahead and grab that. Yeah, looks great. No matter what side. Uh, let's do the shiny side up. Might as well. Don't. No, the other one. Sorry, I don't want the writing. <laughs> I was like, shiny. <laughs> shiny side. <laughs> yeah, right on there. Perfect. Yeah, and yeah, you can kind of use your hands, just kind of smooth it out for, at first. Okay, yeah, you see how I rounded the edges of this uh, six inch taping knife? That ensures that you won't dig in and puncture the membrane. So if you got one of these six inch taping knives and you're doing membrane, just take your grinder to the corners and round them, put a little radius on them, 
helps a lot. There you go. There you go, yep, good fun pressure just like that. Beautiful, love it man. That work? Yeah, good job Eric, right. that's, that's perfect. So yeah, just go ahead and leave that. Okay, so we took a little break so that the pan could firm up nicely. Yeah, since it was on self-leveling underlayment, Suck the moisture out of that thin set pretty good, so that pan is setting up nicely. So we're going to start with the inside corners here. You want to go with the wall with the two, right? Yeah, you got to go up the wall too. Get, you, you're gonna want it so, and hold your trial at a 45 degree angle and get as much of the thin set out of there as you can. Yeah, you don't, you don't want you don't want to build up the thin set there. of those inside corners. We'll jump on, I'll show you how to do the outside corner. Cool. All right, Eric, you got outside. the inside corners on? Yes, inside sir. corners done? Yes, Beautiful. Sir. All right, you see how the outside corners gotta go on there? Okay. Yep, just like that. So you'll just do the same kind procedure. Same process? Yep, same and process. And do it over this as well. Uh, yeah, it goes over the inside part of that, yep. So you gotta put thin set on that leg too. And, yep, and on the other right here. Gotta put thin set right there.
Beautiful. Right. Looks great. Good job. All right, let's do that other one, then we'll we'll do the banding. Yeah, you kind of need a little more right there. There we go. Yeah, make sure you at least at least go past the two inches. Yeah. Even that little spot. So see how you don't have much thin set right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, be be generous with that thin set. When you do the first pass, yeah, put put some more mud on there. Yeah, exactly. That's the way I would do it. You want to make sure you've got a nice nice bed of mortar that it's not too thin. Yeah, I like that a lot. There we go. Make sure, you go all the way to that inside corner. Yep. Right there. There you go. And even see right there, see that little spot? Make sure you get into there. Just like that. All right, now you're ready for the band. So what I do with the band is I pre-crease them right in the middle. So just give it a nice little crease in the middle. That way you know that that crease goes into the corner. And yeah, just put it right in, line it up. Yep, fold it up. And since we're just a little high, this, this band is, is coming up a little higher than the top of the curve. Let's pull our band out a little bit, maybe a half inch or so, so that our band isn't above the curb. There you go, yeah, just like that. Love it. So use your uh, six inch knife to really embed that in there, in the margin trail. So you could probably run it also, you can run it, run your knife that way. Like this? Yeah, like that. Try that. Yeah, give it firm pressure. But if you work, see if you're working towards the middle, you gotta make sure you don't get a bubble in the middle. I usually work in one direction, I'll okay. run all the way that way. There you go, beautiful. I'll make sure you do the vertical on the curb too. Yeah, oh yeah. Now I'd do the same thing again. I would run here, I'd run, run it like that. horizontal. There you go, yep. And, yep, and then work your Work your corner just like that, yeah. Exactly. If there's ever an issue with these uh, these membrane systems and the bands, it, it tends to be in the corner, so uh, I really pay attention to those, but yeah, that looks really good. It looks really good. Yeah, so it's almost two. Uh, we started here about 11.30, so about two and a half hours, I was able to coach Eric through this whole thing, getting this whole pan prepped. Yeah, and then, not bad. Not bad. We even took a little break, too. We probably took about 20 minutes to let this pan set up. So, this is going great. All right, Eric, let's get those other bands in. So, one thing I told Eric was... So just, when you're first getting your thin set on there for the bands, just be generous with the thin set. Go heavy with it. Don't worry about getting the perfect amount on there. Just get, get a good amount on there, and then you can come back and trowel off the excess, and then put your band on it. You really don't want much open time in between spreading 
you know, doing your final pass of spreading the thin set before you apply the band, you want to spread it and then almost immediately put your band on it. You don't want that thin set to dry at all. You want it to be nice and tacky when you put that band on it. So it helps to apply it thicker and then come back and do your final one. But see, even that's great, Eric, what you're doing. But I would wait to do that until you already have it on the wall too because there's going to be too much time in between now when you put it on the wall and you come back. So you'll probably have to go over that one on the floor again. So I would just run it, I would, I would run it the length with, yeah, there you go. See how nice that went? Yep. Bad camera work there. And then, then do the same thing on the, on the bottom mm -hmm. again. Yeah, make sure you don't, don't leave. So one thing you can do, here, let me show you. Let's see if I can do this. One thing you can do when you go back, since you've already combed the wall really nicely, Hold, hold the trowel out at an angle, not all the way against the wall, but you can put it at an angle, and that way you don't mess up the wall as you go, because if you were to hold it straight, it would drag against the wall again. Yeah, just like that. Let's see, make sure I get those gaps. Yeah, we don't want to see these gaps, these little gaps right there. We want to make sure we get those filled in too. Again, yeah, after you do that final come with insect, as quickly as possible, you want to get that band on top of it so that the air doesn't dry that thin set out and you get really good adhesion. these corners that are so important to really get tight because if any water gets in and like all of my testing and stuff it's in those corners so yeah once you get this corner you got this band kind of started now you can just run your knife that way great and then yeah kind of work that corner and then you can go up on the wall Job. So we got two, two down, two more to go.
All right, so Eric's finishing up the last band here. He's really done a great job. Eric, that's awesome. Again, thank you guys for watching my videos because it makes stuff like this possible. The fact that we can help Eric out has to do with you guys watching my videos. So Eric's been a great sport to the tear out and everything. Again, I'll have the link to the original video of his bad work that we had to go over <laughs> and tear out. So if you want to see that video, uh, it'll be in the description. But it's been great. Eric did an excellent job. I was joking with him. He's, he's probably going to be doing side work for his friends and neighbors now. But uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for being part of this. And I love you. I love being your tile coach. We'll see you on the next video.